Hello and welcome to another overly long and poorly thought out joke, I mean devlog. This is episode 6, and this week I'll be working on creating a nice new turret for you to get murdered by. The game I am currently working on is a metroidvania, and the current working title I have is yet another game about tax evasion. So let's go. Since this is a video about the aforementioned turret enemy, I figured it'd be nice to start off making the turret. I, first of all, made a simple placeholder sprite that is totally not accidentally suggestive. Then I began programming the state machine for how it shoots. It just has two states, one when it cannot see the player, and one whenever it can see the player and aims and shoots at that player. So now I've got the basics down in place and code, and let's see if it works. Oh. Okay, I'm back and I think it's working now, or at least it's aiming at me. Oh. Okay, seriously, here it is working. Now, it's working pretty well, but it does need a few adjustments. Currently, it just keeps shooting at the player even when behind the cover, which it shouldn't. Hey, it's kind of late tonight, but I'm just going to implement some of the changes suggested by commenters on my last video. Thanks for your suggestions, they really helped me figure out issues and stuff with the game. First of all, I changed a few things about the parallax background I made last video. Yes, Sephiroth games and EVs were very helpful in making it easier for me to see exactly what made the background look a little bit off. First of all, I made the background follow the camera's X instead of the player's X, which is a huge improvement already. Then I made a simple open door sprite and also replaced the old closed door sprite, and now you can't see the edges of the parallax, which is good. Then I started to change around the colors of the background to make it stand out less in the foreground. I made the very back darker and changed up the colors of the middle layer. After a few iterations, I ended up with this. Finally, I put that parallax background in the second room as well, because why not? Next thing, I decided to make a special kind of block that the grenade launcher destroys. I made the sprite last week, so I just created the block that was a child of the block that I built stages out of, and then made that new block be destroyed if it's hit by the grenade. I also made the destructible block remove itself from the pathfinding grid whenever it's destroyed. Today I simply worked on the turret a bit more. I made it only shoot at the player when it has a direct line of sight to the player. This is done by simply using a collision line that is drawn between the player and the turret, and making sure that the line isn't intercepting any blocks. Then I made the final sprite for the turrets, and it looks quite a bit better now. It's the last day of the week that I have to work on this devlog and I still have a number of things to get done. Some lighting effects, finishing the turret, and decorating the stage all come to mind. So yeah, let's go. First off, I just worked on some more lighting effects. Now enemies make light, though I haven't decided which one should. I also updated the lights that the explosion makes to make it kind of orange colored. I'm not quite happy with how the explosion lighting and gun flare lighting look right now, but I'll continue working on it in the future. If anybody has any idea how to update the intensity of the light over time to make it sort of fade in and fade out effects, that'd be very useful. Next up was simply decorating a large amount of the first area with the new art things I created. Though I say decorating, I really mean making those areas. A lot of those rooms are just empty boxes, so now it's my job to come in and fill those boxes up, and to make every room somewhat different. The one thing that's really left for finishing the rooms of the first stage is one or two new backgrounds. I haven't fully decided if I want them to be parallax or not, but they probably will be. After filling in all these rooms, the only things I have left for the first stage are the boss fight, a lot of polishing for enemies, especially the flying one, and the patrolling one. And now it's time to finish this turret enemy. I, first of all, polished how it looks a lot and just tried to get it feeling right. And somehow I didn't realize that it was facing backwards. Oh. After fixing that, I also made the bullets much faster, and made them actually shoot out at the end of the barrel of the turret, and made it so that the turret can be flipped and placed on the ceiling. I made some particle effects for some barrel flashing, and it was done. Anyway, the rest of Saturday and Sunday were spent making and publishing this devlog. As usual, any feedback, suggestions, or whatever are welcome in the comments section. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.